That's what, that's what uh, James Woolsey, the CIA director under President Clinton, said, one of the first CIA directors, not the present one. The administration is guilty of playing down the threat of a missile attack from Russia, China, or elsewhere. He also told the committee the administration understands the missile threat on multiple fronts. They know what's going on. In fact, our Congress passed a bill to bring in a missile defense, Star Wars or whatever you want to call it, in case of the incoming missiles. Uh, it would only cost $2 billion. We just gave uh, Mexico, or really gave the international bankers, $20 billion plus $20 billion from the IMF fund. Uh, what we did here is well, all we needed was $2 billion to get this missile defense so our children could sleep safely at night. Uh, the president vetoed it. Uh, in fact, he's trying to downgrade that bill so the incoming missiles, it'll be an ineffective bill. Uh, when, the, when these incoming missiles come in, that, or the, if there's a threat of these incoming missiles, that, that, that our system will be ineffective. So he finally will sign one, but it'll be an ineffective system if he ever signs one. I don't think he's going to have to. Uh, Do Bob Dole uh, wrote, he says, Mr. Clinton's opposition to missile defense is one of the most negligent, short-sighted, irresponsible, potentially catastrophic policies in history. I believe it is. I believe he, he spoke the truth there. Sometimes they speak the truth. Sometimes they speak lies. This time he was speaking the truth. Uh, here's a whole bunch of people that you'd know if I put their names. Edward Teller was involved with the hydrogen bomb. You got, you got uh, Rumsfeld, uh, Weinberg, and uh, Schlesinger, all three defense ministers of previous administrations. They're all saying we have no mi missile defense. We better get a missile defense. Uh, because uh, there's a word here I'm going to show you in just a minute. It says, this is from uh, Representative uh, Newt Gamerich said, without some kind of serious anabolistic missile defense, we are literally naked to blackmail. And that's the word I wanted to show you, blackmail. They might not even have to fire the missiles in. And, and we risk two or three cities, or I should say five, six, seven, or eight cities. The United States should, in fact, proceed with defending itself against ballistic missiles from countries like Iran, North Korea, Syria, Libya, and I might add, China and Russia. I don't know how many of you read in the New York Times, but they had an article out where, where China threatened the United States, uh, or mainly L.A. They said they would lob uh, a missile into L.A. in case we got involved with this uh, Taiwan thing when Taiwan becomes... Uh, no, is no longer part of the People's Republic of China. Well, let me tell you, the general that made that threat was invited to the United States. He, he ate at some of the best meals and was treated like a king as he came here to this country the one after he made the threat, not prior to making the threat. We didn't, most of us didn't hear about that. They completely uh, just put that, tried to sweep that one under the carpet as quickly as they could. Uh, here's the general accounting office. They know what's going on. It says here, Russia is reportedly failing to dismantle weapons of mass destruction, modernizing and replacing weapons beyond defense requirements, reusing fissionable materials and components of weapons, blocking U.S. verification of nuclear and biological weapon facilities, and violating our armed controls agreement. That's our own government. Our own GAO is telling us that's the situation. Uh, this one I just got out. I'll get a better article. It was a fact sent to me. It was right from an LA Times article. I'll get it from the library when I get back, and it'll be a better copy. But basically what we did is we sold uh, the recently closed uh, uh, Long Beach Naval Station to the People's Republic of China. So they no longer will have to send in any missiles. They can just send them over on a barge, and they'll ha they can have the, the 24 megaton bomb there that can, just, that can ionize everything from San Diego to Palm Springs to Santa Barbara and everything in between. Uh, so we're, we're one of the few countries that allows foreigners to buy our soil, uh, and here we allowed uh, the people that are in our new trading partners that, love, that have these great uh, human, uh, uh, you know, human rights activities by murdering of babies as fast as they can by everything else. Uh, they have no conscience again, uh, and they now own the, the Long Beach Naval Station. Uh, do you think they'd probably use these things if they would? I believe they would. We did. Uh, I believe that they would they would use them in a minute. I think it would get them closer to that goal of eliminating about three and a half to four and a half million billion people on the face of the earth if they could hit 10, 12, 15. In fact, all the cities on the United States would probably make them happy. Uh, see, they don't care about the United States. They own the world. They're going after the universe now, as you see them trying to, to grab a hold of everything they can. And, and this place, they could very easily just mop up a few years later, or 10 years or 20 years later, and go live in their their castles in England or wherever else they may, and, and uh, they, again, they wouldn't lose any sleep. They probably have a smile on their face because their spirit guides under this new, vi new uh, way of thinking, uh, their spirit guides are the ones that are telling them they need to kill us. Their spirit guides are the ones that are telling them they need to eliminate this human population for the, for the whole world population to continue on. 
See, they're into Shintoism, Hinduism, like I mentioned earlier, all this occultism. Uh, you, talk, you heard one of some of you heard a speaker last night that was into witchcraft and Satanism. They're all into that kind of stuff. Uh, God really turns you over. Your mind is just sick at a certain point. It's that reprobate mind that that uh, that Paul spoke of in Romans. When you when you serve the creation rather the Creator, you can do some really weird things. And I think they're capable. And I, in fact, I know they're capable of of, of leveling uh, many cities in the United States. Here's the key to Khrushchev. Said we will bury you, and we will you will we will never ever you will never we will not even have to fire a shot. He said that in 1960 at the United Nations. I just mentioned in the Newt Gingrich quote, blackmail. All it would take for for uh, for them to 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 uh, do is give our they'd have to call our president uh, and they'd have to tell him that they're going to nuke 20 of our cities. At that time, you, he'd come on television. He'd have crocodile tears, I'm sure, in his eyes, telling us how. The most unfortunate thing, we misread the Russians, our friends. They are now threatening us, and unless we surrender, unless we uh, uh, do what they tell us to do, uh, we will find 10 or 12 uh, cities nuked. We've got 24 hours to think it over. Uh, at that point, uh, he'll say that, uh, possibly he would say that uh, the UN peacekeeping forces will be on every corner. Don't worry about it. They'll take care of you if you do everything they tell you to do you'll be able to live in peace and safety the rest of your life in the United Nations. You'll be told to go to the post office to register and all the rest of the things. Uh, it isn't going to take firing these missiles. It's just going to take not having a defense up and then having them threaten us or blackmail us and we will, you will see the Americans go like this as fast as they can. They will surrender immediately. Uh, it's just where we're at today. We're at a point where, where there, are, there is no conviction within America. This is a man named Chuck Missler. Uh, he's his work spent most of his life in the Defense Department. Uh, just so you don't think I'm the only person giving this message, I'd like you to listen to one of his audio cassettes. Uh, again, he forgot more about this stuff than I'll ever know. So let's just listen to him. It's a couple minute uh, audio tape that I'd like you to listen to. While we are de-escalating our uh, nuclear threat. The White House being accused of sweeping under the rug what Russian officials admit freely that strategic nuclear missiles are directed to the United States. They remain on alert. The obsolete systems are being dismantled with U.S. aid, but they're being replaced by more modern high-tech weapons. And uh, the Strategic Rocket Forces Commander-in-Chief Igor Sergeyev has uh, provided a briefing to the Duma, that is the Parliament. Strategic offensive arms, he points out, are the main component of Russia's defensive might. They include less than 10% of the Army personnel and less than 5 or 6% of their budget, and they're the most reliable and, and the cheapest component of their defensive might. You might be interested to know they practice training exercises uh, for a nuclear attack on the United States in 1993, on June 22nd, 1994, and October 4th through 10th of 1995. And, of course, the White House has tried to bury all of this. It's interesting that even veterans of the old Communist Party think tanks have become alarmed. Military analyst Alexei Arbatov commented that a first strike strategy is, uh, presupposes the unleashing of nuclear war. They're alarmed at their own policies, if you will, which are, have been announced. Yeltsin has announced that their, their strategy is a first strike strategy. Now, the main effort is going into their Navy. They've spent, uh, they're upgrading their Typhoons with the new uh, SSN-2426 ballistic missiles. In 1995, it tested these uh, in, a number, in violation with our arms agreements. The Navy uh, intelligence tells me that uh, they've spent about $7.2 billion in submarine construction in 94 and $9 billion in 1995 uh, doing uh, more advanced classes of their ballistic missile submarines. And uh, their Admiral uh, Kostantinov points out, our priority is the new generation of more accurate strategic nuclear missiles of the kind which can be launched from submarines. The START II agreements all of this deal only with land-based missiles. And uh, the ones that they're dismantling at our expense, First Deputy Chief of Staff Vladimir Zerbenko points out, are, at the, at, are aging electronic and highly corrosive fuel. They're at the end of their useful life. So the giant 10 warhead SS-18s are being replaced by more modern equipment. They have a Topol M, a three-stage variant of the SS-25 that 90 of their 154 SS-18 silos are being retrofitted for the new missiles. Plus, they're also apparently launchable from eight-axle mobile launchers that can evade detection. And on it goes. Now, they've also got a new stealth bomber, the Sukhoi T-60S, that is under development. So, something else you might be interested in. In January, they did detect a low-yield nuclear blast underground Arctic nuclear test center at Novoya Zemla. 
and uh, the, the administration has buried all of this, but it violates their arms agreements. And what's puzzling is why there isn't an outbreak from the congressmen and senators, because this stuff is, is uh, available.